Oh, I love them. A great idea, Keely. Do you like a quality street? I love a quality street. What's your favourite? Are we allowed to say that on air? On Probably not. The purple, the purple ones. ones. Ah, <laughs> the purple ones. There you go. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> uh, let's have a little look at uh, cold overnight tonight. So we're looking at a widespread frost. That's the way we'll start tomorrow. It will gradually cloud over through the course of the day. Now, uh, the settled weather has been, uh, been brought to us by high pressure. That's now moved away. Low pressure uh, moving in. So lots of fronts from the Atlantic. The next few days does look rather unsettled. Thursday, very very mild for the time of year, but then cold weather, cold air starts to dig back down again uh, for the weekend. There's been a lot of cloud out there today and temperatures for most of the day have only hovered uh, at around three or four degrees at best. And as I mentioned, we are expecting a cold old night to come. So the cloud will thin and break. It'll move away overnight. Uh, and we're looking at uh, light winds and a widespread frost with temperatures widely uh, dropping uh, a degree or so uh, below freezing down to around minus two, minus three degrees. Quick look at those high water times then in Filey at two minutes past six and at five to six in Scarborough tomorrow morning. So a frosty start today, perhaps some shallow mist and fog. This will lift quite quickly. A crisp start with some sunshine, but quite quickly, as you can see, that sunshine turning hazy with cloud increasing. The cloud will thicken up through the afternoon with some pockets of light rain or drizzle. Uh, this may well turn a little wintry as it moves through uh, through tomorrow evening, but behind it, the air won't be as cold. Temperatures tomorrow, though, with a freshening southeasterly breeze, really struggling three or four degrees. So on Thursday, perhaps a damp start to the day, uh, quite a bit of cloud, but I'm hopeful we should see some of that cloud thinning and breaking to allow some brighter spells. Southwesterly winds, meaning temperatures, by then we'll be in double figures. Amanda. Thank you very much, Keely. We'll just have to stay in and eat chocolate. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's it from us. The lovely Tom Ingle will be here with your late news. Goodbye. Rifle through the tub till she finds the green triangles. It's <laughs> That's very cheeky, Tom. The purple ones are my favourites, actually. <laughs> uh, there's some changes in the weather over the next uh, 24, 48 hours. But first, we're looking at a cold night, a widespread frost. So we'll start the day on a frosty note tomorrow. A fine note, though, but it will gradually cloud over through the course of the day. High pressure has been dominating our weather over the past few days, but low pressure, the Atlantic, takes over uh, this coming week. So we've got several weather fronts and settlements weather to come. A much milder day on Thursday, but then that cold weather, weather tries to tuck in again from the north as we head into the weekend. It's quite cloudy out there still at the moment, but the clouds should thin and break. Uh, it should allow temperatures to drop well below freezing down to around minus two or minus three degrees. There may well be a little shallow mist and fog, but this should quite readily lift tomorrow morning. So a fine, crisp, frosty start to the day, but quite quickly that sunshine turning hazy as the cloud filters in. The cloud will thicken up through the course of the afternoon and there could be some pockets of light rain and drizzle. But I think for most places it will stay dry for daylight hours tomorrow. A freshening southeasterly breeze and feeling chilly, really quite cold, uh, only getting up to around three or four degrees. So let's look at the forecast across the UK. Uh, we've got cloud and rain moving through Northern Ireland, continuing on and off through the course of the day. It'll move eastwards into Wales, northwest England, central and southern Scotland. But for eastern counties, uh, eastern parts of the UK, a uh, fine frosty start to the day, but staying dry, even though that cloud will increase through the afternoon. And most of us are still in that cold air. It may well be across parts of Scotland, the high ground, uh, get some snow tomorrow evening and there could be some problems with ice here too. So what about the next few days? Well, initially it will be cold, but we are going to see some changes, turning more unsettled, rain in places, and that rain introducing the milder conditions through the day on Thursday. So another band of rain pushes northeastwards on Thursday. Uh, it, we are feeding in a southwesterly breeze, so that's much milder conditions. On Friday, some problems with mist and fog. Some of that fog could be dense, and yet another band of rain moving in from the southwest. Tom. It looks cold tomorrow morning. Are we scraping frost off the windscreen? I think you might be. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I look forward to it. Thank you very much indeed, Keely. Uh, join Claire Frisbee early morning tomorrow, half past six, for our latest bulletin. See you then. Bye-bye.